Hello, members of the Association for Research and Enlightenment and friends out there. I'm John Van Auken with your Edgar Casey Foundation, and I'm coming to you from the headquarters in Virginia Beach, Virginia, with some exciting news. There have been some discoveries in Egypt, and I know you all want to hear about those. Uh, in October of 2015, the Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities gave permission for a, a gathering called Scan Pyramids to go ahead and probe the largest pyramids in Egypt without drilling. And the way they did this was using a combination of thermography, 3D simulation, muon, radiography imaging and the three major universities involved are in Cairo, Quebec and Japan. Um, this is also in coordination with the French HIP Institute and the Faculty of Engineering in Cairo. HIP stands for Heritage Innovation and Preservation. Now I want to orient you to the pyramid so you get a sense of where the discoveries have been made. The first discovery we're going to look at is on the northeast corner of the Great Pyramid and the second is on the north side of the Great Pyramid. Here's the first one and you see the equipment scanning the pyramid stones. They appear to be solid rock and yet the equipment detects a anomaly, a hot spot, which could indicate an open space behind these stones. And as you can see the equipment right there revealing what it found. Here's Dr. Zahi Hawass at that site exploring it. He and Dr. Uh, Mark Lehner, uh, who's a longtime uh, friend of ARE and Edgar Casey. Uh, are on a team that the ministry put together to oversee scan pyramids research. And um, now we're going to look at the uh, second discovery. And I'm orienting you here to the north side of the pyramid and the original opening on the north side. And as you can see, the Sphinx is down in the valley there just to help you get your bearings, especially for all of you who have toured Egypt with me over the years. Here is the original ancient entrance and of course the tourist entrance where all of us go into the pyramid. The discovery is up at the original entrance, not surprisingly. And the hieroglyph up there is the hieroglyph of the horizon of heaven, which could hint at something else being there. And here is the uh, equipment's readout as you look from scan pyramids at the original entrance showing another hot spot that could possibly be a passageway. At least we know it's an anomaly, an open space. It's not solid stone. So th these really are exciting. Now I've done this little graphic for you to kind of give you an idea of where they are. The first discovery is on the northeast corner of the Great Pyramid and the second one is on the north side above the original entrance there. We still do not know exactly what's behind these stones. That will take some further research. Fortunately, the contract was supposed to expire this year, 2016, but because of these discoveries it has been extended one more year and scan pyramids will continue their research. See, these uh, researchers are right at the horizon of heaven glyph uh, above the original opening, and that is where the anomaly, the second anomaly, is located. We will keep you up to date on this. Uh, if you can go to our website, edgarcasey.org, uh, and also in our periodicals. Um, but when you take these discoveries and you combine them with the recent discovery of uh, anomalies or open spaces in Tut's tomb, which may actually be Nefertiti's tomb, 
And see, Tut died young, 19 years old, and rather quickly. So they could have just buried him right in the front of Nefertiti's tomb because he was a relative of Nefertiti. And uh, so this is exciting also. And here I have a little schematic for you to get an idea of what the equipment saw. Those walls are not solid all the way through. And it appears like there are open chambers surrounding Tut's little tomb. Uh, and that well could be the discovery of the famous Nefertiti and her tomb, which should be spectacular. If we thought Tut's collection was amazing, Nefertiti's is going to be marvelous once we get in there, if that is where it is. More investigation has to occur, more news will be coming out, and uh, our members and friends, we will keep you updated, particularly at the website edgarcasey.org or in our periodicals and also on our YouTube website. Exciting news, look forward to more updates. Thank you.